Welcome everyone to this video. We're going to solve a leap code challenge today. The problem we're solving is kids with the greatest number of candies. This problem we're going to do in Python. So let's read the problem first and then we will walk through a code solution. Given the array candies and the integer extra candies where candies I represents the number of candies in the nth kid has. For each kid, check if there is a way to distribute extra candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of candies among them. Notice the multiple kids can have the greatest number of candies. Let's go through an example so we can explain this. All right, here's our input. Candies equals 23513, and then our variable extra candies is three. And then what they have output is true, 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 false, true. So what does that mean? Let's go through the explanation. So each one of these values in the set, so two, that means our first kid has two candies, our second kid has three, and so on. So what we do is this first kid has two candies. If we add the extra candies of three, giving them five, we have to check the whole set and find out if they are greater than or equal to any other kit. So if we go through this set, we can tell that it, yes, it is equal to five, and that's the highest number. So let's go to the next one, three. If we give them three, that will give you six. So that is also greater than or equal to the highest number. So we're gonna store that down here in a list. So the first one was true, the second one is true. The third one, five plus three is eight. It's still the highest is true. The next kid has one, if we give them three, then that will be four, but that won't be greater than or equal to five, so that'll be false. And the next one, three plus three is six, which is greater than or equal to the highest number. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna need to do a for loop, we're gonna have to iterate through the list, and we're going to have to compare that against the highest number, or the max. And then we're gonna have to output it to a list, and we do that by storing or checking the sum of both numbers, and then we're going to check it against the max, and then if it's true, we're going to append it to the list is true. If it's false, we'll append it to the list is false. So hopefully that explanation makes sense. So let's go ahead and drop our or start writing our code and see if it works. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an empty list. And then next thing I'm gonna do is calculate the max in the, from the uh, candy. So that would be most, we'll just call this most candy. And the way we calculate that is max, and then we're gonna input candies. So that's our, that's our calculated max of candies. All right, so first, now what we can do is we can loop through our input of candies. So that's gonna be for i in range and we'll do the length of the candies. All right, so first we're gonna if statement. So what we're gonna do is calculate the candies at position, which the first position in this example, and we'll iterate through those positions. And then we're going to add extra candies, which it gives us. And then we're gonna find out if that is greater than or equal to the most candies. So how that looks is if candies at position i, plus extra candies is greater than or equal to most candies, or most candy, that's what my variable is. And if that's true, we're going to append it to the list we created. So list.append, and we called it list. Oh no, sorry, uh, I wanna say true, because we're outputting true or false, so we'll say true. Then, if that is not the case, we can just do an else, and we can do list.append false. So, and then, so then we're done with the loop, so it'll iterate through that, it'll put true or false, and at the very end, once we exit it out of the for loop, we will return our list. So that should do it, let's go ahead and run it, and check make sure it runs properly. Oh, we have a problem. I think I forgot a colon there.
There we go, it is accepted. And we can also just run all test cases, make sure, uh, make sure that it runs through all of them and it works. So right here, you can see true, 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 false, true on the first one here, two. Two plus three is five, so that's true. Three plus three is six, that's true. Five plus three is eight, that's true. Three plus one is four, that's false. And then three plus three is six, that is true. So that one it works correctly. All right, hopefully this made sense. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments below and let me know if you liked uh, these videos. Look forward to making some more in the future. All right, I'll see you in the next video. So long.